Dinesh Kumar Mittal and uh, I am a heart surgeon at Max Hospital Shalimar Park and I am doing heart surgery in the last 12 years and I have done more than 1000 open heart surgeries and that includes uh, child surgeries, birth defects and uh, bypass surgeries, valve repairs etc etc. As we all know, bypass surgery is the most common surgery people undergo in cardiac surgery. So, heart has got three major vessels supplying. There are three coronary arteries and uh, when we use in the layman terms, there are one artery disease if uh, involved one artery, there are two artery disease or three artery disease. And we must be aware of the angioplasty and bypass surgery. In angioplasty, we put a stent directly into the coronary artery. In bypass surgery, we just bypass the involved artery and put a new graft or new artery. Usually, if one artery or two arteries are involved, we go for the angioplasty. But if three arteries are involved, we prefer bypass surgery. There are reports worldwide in diabetic patients, in left main disease and in the arteries of the three vessels, we prefer the bypass surgery. Usually these patients, they come with a chest pain, excessive sweating while walking or else sometimes they come with a heart attack. What is heart attack? When they are having the chest pain for a longer time, not responding to any medications. And sometimes they come with a very low BP and with excessive coughing and palpitation or sometimes they just collapse at home and transfer with the ambulance. In this situation, we just put the supportive device for the heart and do the angiography and after that angiography we decide if there are one vessel involved, we go for the angioplasty. If there are two or three vessels involved, we go for the bypass. Really, we have got four valves in the heart, in the normal heart. We have got four chambers in the heart and between all the chambers, we have got uh, valves. Valves are unidirectional thing and that cause, uh, that allows blood to flow in one direction, not allowing blood to flow in the another direction, like a door at the home. So people come with the uh, different complaints, sometimes they come with a chest pain, sometimes they come with the excessive sweating, sometimes they come with a syncope, they just have uh, blackouts in between and or else they come with the excessive breathing difficulty and these uh, valve problem commonly find in the developing or underdeveloped countries and uh, we found them into the socio uh, low socioeconomic uh, people and uh, we prefer to change the valve but we have got option uh, if valve is uh, there is a stenosis or there is obstruction in the valve we just dilate the valve and uh, put a stent into it or else uh, we can replace the valve. The patient has got excessive problem like uh, excessive breathing difficulty or chest pain. After the investigation, we advise them to put a new synthetic valve in place of his natural valve. Aorta is the biggest artery of the uh, body arising directly from the heart distributing blood to the whole body. If there is any dilatation, when the size is become like double of its uh, natural size, uh, we call it aneurysm. And when it gets separated into different layers, it is known as dissection. Dissection, as I uh, think or as we call, it is known as malignancy of the heart. And it is very life threatening. Usually people die within 24 hours. Usually we are aware of the bypass surgery or the valve surgery, but people are not much aware of the dissection or aortic aneurysm surgery. In these cases, we change the aortic valve with the main ascending aorta, part of aorta, with a synthetic tube along with the valve inside. And these surgeries are very demanding and uh, can be done only few centers and really rewarding. Because if we don't do these surgeries, the, this lesion is very life threatening, people, most of the people die in 24 hours and around 75 people die within one year. So nowadays we are doing 
lot more minimally invasive surgeries. It is minimally invasive surgery in which we put a very small uh, incision for doing either we can plug the holes in the heart, we can change the valves and certainly we can put one or two or three grafts for the small incisions in which the patient has to stay in the hospital for lesser time, uh, it will be having lesser pain, smaller incisions and post-op recovery is faster. There are a lot of talk about the robotic cardiac surgery, they still uh, in the infantile stage very premature. We are harvesting some uh, conduits from the robotic or we are able to put at the most one or two graphs to the robotic heart, uh, robotic heart. So in which we uh, through the four small holes we put the four cannulas and uh, uh, we can uh, perform the surgery we can put one or two graphs to that but uh, it's still very experimental in India. As we already talked, bypass surgery is the commonest surgery. Whenever they diagnose with the blockage in the arteries of the heart, uh, everybody wants to run for the stenting because uh, there will be no scar, it's easy going and people need not to stay in the hospital. But I would like to suggest one thing. There are definite indication for the bypass surgery and for the stenting. And bypass surgery is like long lasting. There is a problem definitely for the initial one month. You have to face the pain, there are various complications and the larger scar. But the, with the newer arterial conduits we are using more and more, their uh, bypass surgery is long lasting. They are having life for the 15-20 years. And newer stents right now we are having, we don't have longer reports. And uh, from the various publication uh, worldwide, they also suggest certain group of people uh, they, with the diabetes and uh, hypercholesteremia, hypertension and family history and diffuse disease, they definitely suggest the bypass as the best results in comparison to stents. That was nice.